These halls are sacred. Against the warrior. Against the warrior, we can bamboozle them. We can definitely scamboozle the warriors. We just gotta be methodical about it. Yeah, an outsider, a Zilliac sword, a 6 5 rusher. Against these guys, it's kind of an LTK kind of deal with the help of uh, Zerimi. Draw a bunch of these, get rid of that. It uh, has five damage. This draws me a good amount of cards, a little bit too good. It's probably gonna play the five mana here. I don't care too much. I'm just trying not to overdraw too much. Against these guys, you just gotta time a very good Zerimi turn. Don't let him just uh, gain armor a bunch and basically OTK them with Zerimi kind of deal. No, it's she's not important at all. Magathus, the first thing I'd cut out of this, honestly. Starting the operation. If he has his six man idiots, he wouldn't advance too much. Brando. Okay, I'm sticking a bunch of damage here, can't say no to that. Honestly, with this funnel cake, can't I just scam the shit out of this man right now? I think I can. I know I can. Can I, please? Can I? We'll try. I'm no Zerimi priest expert, but I think I can scam this fool. This is the biggest amount of damage I'm doing. It's one less out of this, but still a fair bit. 
Neat. Got scammed, yeah. Told you we'd scam him. Didn't I tell you? Turn 7 lethal against the warrior. Kinda OTK deal. Control this, you filthy casual. That was perfect. That was a prime example of how you should be approaching matchups where they have tons of control against you. Give them just a little bit so they don't just advance you. But try and develop a fat scam board like this and fuck him up. Mega scam. That was a very nice top deck. We definitely needed that one. That was the top deck we were looking for. If we didn't top deck that, we would have waited a turn probably. Stiebo. Let's see what main G mage. Yeah. This hand could be amazing. Those are a lot of the cards I want to be seeing, but... I don't think I can straight up keep the Fruit Drifter here. Maybe if I was going second, but going first. Okay, that's kind of cool. Let's do this then. Fucker. Fucker! Oh, that's hot. That'd be a great turn three. Turn three, we're dropping a lot of this hand, huh? Stop killing my shit, bro. I just drop these three then? Yeah, I don't think he can. Starting the operation. And let's try I can do this guy on it. And overheal. Unless he gets giga lucky with a glyph. This should not be helping him at two mana left. I mean, he can still go free. Yeah, pretty fucked up stuff, Mel. Pretty fucked up stuff. Okay. Looking saucy. Saucy! We've created a temporal anomaly. You up. I should not have attacked with that one for, huh? Guess I should have positioned a bit differently for this situation, but I definitely would rather get another overheal idiot, right? Yeah, probably, Revo. It's not a exact replacement, Bob. Oh, God. That was fucked up. That was straight up fucked up there. That was straight up fucked up for real, for real. Hmm. 
Maybe I could have Golub, but uh, I don't know. Okay, there's the Azuremi of mine. Such a slow turn. Wish we saw the dream boat or some shit like that. That would have been decent. This guy controlled the shit out of me in the early turns, didn't he? Controlled my tiny little ass off. Really? That, oh, he gets an extra zero. It has Sif already, huh? He's played Fire, Nature, Frost, Shadow, and Arcane. That's five, so that's plus six, uh, six damage zeros. Good him, bro. It ain't good either. I can disappear the 2 2, you know? Could also Zerimi this thing and copy it to play it again, but it's not lethal at all. Yeah, I'll disappear this. Kinda have a feeling he has a uh, Sifu lined up. Pip the magic dragon. Know about them playing the four six there? I don't think I do. Okay, with a random six drop, that's kind of cool. Could also just straight up copy an extra idiot. Zerimi's not even active yet. I can't even activate him right now. I mean, I can, but for next turn. Can't even use the free 10 though. Uh, Draw a single dragon out of the thing right now. Kind of silly. Can play Pip for a couple of idiots like that. Okay, that's hot. Okay, next turn I think I can go for his mouth. He is gonna gain three more armor at least, maybe four. Final cake off the top would be dreamy. Primordial Glyph. Could be a bummer, but should be fine. I 
Probably freezing the Titan. He's not. Say less, fam. No armor. Neat. Um, I got a straw with Zarimi, right? Four. It's pretty fucked up. Oh, no. Don't even have room. Oh, I do now. Problem is that I am lethal. No, oh, it's exact lethal. Well, that was silly. Thank God we got an adequate, adequate five, five, six drop, but adequate enough. Weird game though. We tried with the early game pressure, didn't work. Went with the slow one again. Better mage. Yes. I don't even know, like, Demon Hunter was not such a bad matchup for mages. These halls are sacred. I don't get why Celestial is this high this here. Like, what the hell is that even? We are going second. Gonna go like this, man. Pretty sure I go like this. Couldn't find any dragons. Crimson clergy is kind of hot. Could give him this on turn two if he didn't play this shit. Let's contest in that case. Does he have the two damage? Doesn't. He could find some though. Doesn't. I think I'll do this. And then coin the finale on it. Let's try and play this plus that. Funnel cake. Could be good. Random counter spells a bitch. Doesn't play it. Honestly, if he played it, I would have thought twice about doing shit. Free, free. Sounds good to me. Reality.
patch you up. So far, he's cast only a single spell school, so his machine ain't doing shit. It's not even guaranteed. Might not even be... A spell school there. I'll try like this. If it's fire, it's fire. It is fire. Okay, so he cast two damage here. We lined up. Now see if I Zerimi next turn with this Leroy lined up. Could be enough. I mean if this board sticks it's hell of enough without Leroy even. Two damage we is not cutting it for him with Leroy though. Okay, what else? Let's go, GG. 12. It's not GG. It's 22 damage. Twenty-two damage. Wait, this thing unfreezes, right? Surely it unfreezes. Actually, yeah, it fucking does. I was, I was feeling weird about it. I was like, wait, is that pros until his next turn? But yeah, it is getting unfrozen now, didn't it? Neat! Some of them turn six lethals. Okay, under one foul with the complicated deck. I'm pretty sure I could be playing it even better than that, but Ghost Shell, you don't need to be perfect with it to, to climb decently with it. Not everybody can play Nature Shaman though. A lot of mages out there, huh? You asked for it. These holes are safe. Huh. Best cards in the deck, apparently. Feels like after each patch the game goes worse and worse, don't it? Common phenomena. Phenomena. I think I'll go with the replica now. Fascinating behavior. Pretty good, Summer's pretty good. Ooh. Okay, so we can do this this turn, and next turn we can drop all three of these, coin out the funnel, overheal, live life. Some of that turn four bullshit, you know? These are gonna be four healths. It's gonna be staggering. Yeah, if Shaman becomes very popular, Wheel Warlock, even teched out against it, might not be that great. Starting the operation. Sick. Fucking sick. Turn 3, by the way, if we had Zilliax, it was actually playable. Turn fucking 3 right there. 
This is the state of Hearthstone, guys. Enjoy it. Enjoy it while it lasts. Horse Stone 2020 foe, guys. I can use the Astral Projectionist to copy this guy again, or I can just straight up copy with this and play. I mean, I have one in hand. Might as well just do that, honestly. Am I doing any trades? I guess I'm trading this shit off. Oh my goodness. I mean, I, I literally don't even need the mana right now. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with all that mana? If Nature Shaman's Char is becoming dominant, Control Warrior is still a decent deck against it. It's not perfect against it, it still could die if the Shaman is really good, but it definitely holds its own against them. I legit don't even have room right now, bro. Hmm. Oh, man, let's start poking that ass. Ain't gonna poke itself. Is he gonna rely on random blizzard action? Well, that is something I could have uh, dealt one extra damage with. I'm gonna copy a zero here. If he clears this board, it might be the better choice. It's gonna freeze both big minions, gain tons of armor like that. This does allow me to drop Zerimi if I had cheap dragons, which I have zero of. How'd that happen? I must patch you up. That was dumb. Patch you up. Oopsie. Mm. Whatever. Still didn't get any dragons, by the way. Fuck is this even, dude? Mana doesn't cut it for him, honestly. 
that's kind of sexy for him. Oh wow, okay, I did cut it for him, huh? Staggering. That was unbelievable. Okay. Uh, I legit have no fucking dragons right now, though. Legit, legit. So let's make some, apparently. Next try I can play a couple of small dragons, flood the board with four sixes, and Zerini. Okay, I guess we ain't flooding shit. This was a silly game. Props to the guy to actually dragging it this long, but alas, it was all for naught. Wonder if I could have closed this one if I was a bit better with the deck a little bit earlier. I guess we'll never know. Maybe comments will tell me. Anyway, that's gonna be it for tonight, guys. Thank you for being here. Now let's head on down and check out what my boy Denim Blue's up to. Thanks again for being here. See you guys on Thursday with some coaching action of all things. So uh, yeah, see you soon guys, bye.